In this video, I explain what we mean by the components of computer software. In Chapter 3, we discuss the need to frame analytic tasks and software operations, and we framed analytic tasks in terms of their units, and we frame the software not in terms of what the software does, but by the things in the software that we can act on, or its components. In this video, I demonstrate what we mean by a component using the example of cut and paste, using the drag and drop feature in Microsoft Word that is illustrated in the book in figure 3.2 and figure 3.3. Here is a Word file, and perhaps we want to edit it. Perhaps we would like these words here, that are currently numbered point 0.3, to be the beginning of this second sentence instead of the word this. So we know we can drag and drop those words in order to cut and paste them somewhere else. So we can select them, and then we can drag it in front of the word this, and the, oh, the first paragraph is now numbered. That's not what we wanted at all. So we can reverse that process. I use Control Z to undo, and we're back to where we were. We don't really know what happened or why this is working in that way. So perhaps we're going to just retype those words over the word this and not worry about it. But if we knew how the program worked at the level of its components, we would know what was going on and be able to use the program more powerfully. I'm going to switch on the paragraph marks, which are up here, and now we can see these paragraph marks. And what we're seeing on the screen is now two components. One component is the text, which we're familiar with and we can do things to, type over them or format them. But a second component are these paragraph marks, which are generally hidden. And those paragraph marks contain the formatting of the paragraph before them. So this paragraph mark here contains the numbered formatting that we used there. So if we drag this text, select it first, and we see the paragraph mark is selected as well, and we drag it in front of the word this, the formatting comes along with it, and the first paragraph is numbered. So if I press Control Z and undo that again, if I know that, I can decide to just select the words of text and not select the paragraph mark. And then when I drag it, the formatting of those words does not come along with it. And this is exactly what I want. Then I can remove the word this, and I can remove the number with just one backspace. And there we are. This is exactly what we wanted. So working at the level of components, both in Word, and in Cactus programs for conducting data analysis allows us to use the program much more powerfully. 